Hi everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hug for Monday the 3rd of June. And I was asking before I came to do the reading, um, what would be a good theme for this week? And the answer I got was awareness. And at first I thought, well, isn't that the same as sensitivity? Because we had sensitivity last week. So I said to my guides, isn't that the same as sensitivity? And they said, in a sense, yes. So I said, and in what sense isn't it the same as sensitivity? How is it not sensitivity on a different week? So they basically said this, that when you have sensitivity, or rather when you have too much sensitivity, there are times when it can feel as if the world has you in its grasp. However, when you have awareness, you might also have great sensitivity and yet you might also become then more aware of how you might begin to have the world in your grasp. So I got quite excited about that because I thought that was a really nice distinction, a really nice message as well. It had a really nice feeling to it. Just the idea that we can begin to use our sensitivity in a way that empowers us rather than being sometimes feeling as if we are being used by our sensitivity and gaining mastery over it so that we can become more powerful light workers, more empowered rather than disempowered by what happens to us because of our sensitivity, more able to bring awareness to every situation so that we can know how to use our sensitivity and our divine gifts as a blessing to ourselves and others. So I've shuffled the Ascended Master cards and I'm going to pick one from them. And once again, we've got crystals. That's really interesting. And I have to say, crystals have become very important to me recently because the power of crystals is something that we underestimate quite a lot. And so today, and I've been using them an awful lot, I must finish that thought. So I've been using them a lot recently for all sorts of things, for everything from um, just warding off unwanted energies, to raising my frequency more, to um, just attracting more of the things that I want, more of the experience that I want in my life. And I have found them extremely powerful. So it's just really knowing how to use them, how to charge them, what they're really good for, and allowing them to empower us. So that's for Monday, that's one thing that we could become more aware of. So if you need to increase your awareness of the power of crystals by doing some research online or by using a book or by tuning in and meditating with them, I would say absolutely 100%, especially if you have been um, plagued by sensitivities recently, have a look and find out more about how crystals can help you with that. So that's the first card for Monday and I'm going to pick a second card. So the second card we've got Kuan Yin and it's saying let it go. So the way that this relates to awareness and the energy of Monday is, okay, find out how you can empower yourself with crystals today and secondly I would say let go of things that don't serve you in terms of consciousness so let go of any ideas you can let go of today so become aware of what am I thinking rather than just becoming aware of you know when you're under psychic attack or when you've absorbed energy or consciousness from other people or other places become aware of what thoughts you are holding in consciousness and giving power to. Become aware of how much you are letting the past dictate to you what happens in the present moment. Become aware of how much you are overthinking something that's just happened and calling it sensitivity. Whereas actually, with awareness, you have the power to say, okay, Yes, that affected me because I'm sensitive, but I am not going to let it take up any more of my time or energy now. I'm going to stop that thought. I'm going to stop playing this over and over again. And that might involve doing some energetic clearing because sometimes those thoughts replay themselves because of energetic attachments. But make the decision consciously and in an empowered way to let go of that thought, to just let it go, to just say, yeah, okay, that didn't feel that great. Yeah, I'm not enjoying that energy but I'm going to let it go now. I'm going to move on to something else. I'm going to go and paint or I'm going to dance or I'm going to sing or I'm going to um, 
meditate and connect with my guides or I'm going to do some writing or I'm just going to have five minutes of playtime or I'm going to have 15 minutes of, of just quiet thought when I don't allow anything in particular to ruffle me or to come into my space. I'm going to create a sacred space. I'm going to light some candles. I'm going to light some incense. I'm going to play some beautiful music and when I leave this room it will have gone. I'm going to let it go. Let it go. So two tips for today for Monday. Develop awareness of crystals and develop awareness of what's going on in your mind and in your space, what you're allowing to remain beyond the time it needs to be there and let it go. So I'll be back tomorrow. And also one of my guys has just said, and remember to let go with laughter sometimes as well. So, you know, if you don't really feel like creating a safe, sacred space or well, you haven't got an awful lot of time to, to do you know, all the other things that I've said, or you don't want to dance, or you don't want to paint, or you don't want to write anything, just watch a 10 minute, find a 10 minute comedy YouTube video or something, and just have a good laugh, or have a laugh with friends, and let it go. Right, I'll be back tomorrow for Tuesday's Angel Hug. Have a lovely Monday, everyone. See you then. Bye.